All right, you guys ready for your next contestant? Come on, more energy. Yes. Everybody put your hands together for Jonathan Craig. <laughs> All right. How about, uh, how about you guys uh, clap your hands for coming out tonight and supporting your friends and family, right? That's your loved ones. I'm sure that means a lot to them. I wish some of my friends and family had come out tonight to support me. <laughs> but no. We can't make it to the comedy show tonight. We gotta go to mom's funeral. <laughs> it's a weird way to start my set, I think. I almost didn't make it here tonight. I uh, made some bad choices. Went to Waffle House last night because I haven't had the shits in a while. This is like a real Waffle House, too. Like, even their hand dryers had a little smoker's cough, you know? <laughs> I, was, I was drying my hands. It was like, <laughs> I kept waiting for some phlegm to shoot out or something, you know? Uh, I was thinking, maybe that's where the soap is. You know? Maybe. You know? I hadn't been to a Waffle House in a long time. So I asked the waitress, I was like, hey, sweetie, what do you recommend? And she was like, Burger King. <laughs> Helpful woman, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to eat healthy here lately, but uh, it's expensive to eat healthy, right? It seems like anything that's good for you costs like an arm and a leg, uh, which is ironically the same price as diabetes. No matter how you look at it, that joke's pretty sweet, right? Started taking vitamins, uh, that was a healthy step, right? They're called one a day, but the directions clearly state take two a day. It just seems harder than it has to be, you know? That's why people quit. A friend of mine told me that fish oil is supposed to be, like, really good for your joints or something. But uh, from my experience, it really just makes them harder to light. Smell extra funky, you know? I know. They're just now getting it. You do eat a lot of fast food, uh, that's not good for you. But if you're going to eat fast food, here's a tip. Always pay with a 50, right? Because uh, most of those kids suck at math. This works great. Like, I went to Arby's the other day, ordered $13 worth of food, paid with a 50. They gave me my food and $56 in change. That's free food and gas money. <laughs> Apparently, they thought I paid with a 70. Those are rare, right? I always say rare because uh, I think you could get a 70 at Fifth Third Bank. They're not very good at math either, right? They call ourselves Fifth Third instead of something that makes sense. Like one and two thirds bank. Some of you aren't laughing. You see, five doesn't go into three. That's where the joke is. Maybe you're not laughing because you just found out your bank sucks at math. That could be it. I had a, had a weird day. Opened up my garage today. There was a, a possum running around in my garage. Well, it wasn't. It was crawling around in my garage. Uh, it's crawling with its front legs and dragging its back legs. And I didn't know if it was like really injured or just playing paraplegic. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes possums will play dead, you know. But uh, I didn't know that they could also play Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> That's a pretty good paraplegic possum joke, right? That's a Trying to think of something clean to end on, really. I only got a few seconds left. 
Sometimes, Sometimes cheese, cheese isn't, isn't real. real. I don't know what that means. <laughs> End, End of joke. joke. <laughs> uh, my name is Jonathan Curry, folks. Thank you guys.